Ooh, what's up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with Jules Rule, of course, the Scarander. And we're gonna keep going with Esplo and his journey here. And um, this is actually round three and not two. The number one battle was, of course, uploaded to his channel. Number two is also up to his channel, so make sure to check that one, <laughs> check that one out. It is not uploaded for the internet, sadly. Uh, but it's against Stardasher, and it actually ends on a 1-0 in Stardasher's favor. I was really excited of actually narrating that battle, but it doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna see Esclo against Q... what was it called? Sorry. Uh, Quebec City Betix. Um Just overall, they're a very, very interesting team. Um, Matt here, his opponent, has a really, really good roster. Look at this! He's run Gyarados, Gengar, Ninetales, Venusaur, and Shiftry. Uh, Kyulai Sun really well here with speed boost, really really boosts itself up. This is a very very tough team. Um, my opponent here, or my my man, my my guy, Esclo, is using Selby, Mega Gardevoir, High Flotion, um, Electivire Configures, and Terrakion. Terrakion could be interesting in this battle. Uh, could really help out a lot. And also, I'm presuming it is the Mega Jarlos, and he has two Chlorophyll Pokémon, so it's really dangerous. But Cyclosion can use that to his advantage. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I can't really predict what's gonna happen in the first turn. I really hope Escalo start up with um, with Cyclosion or Trachion. Those two can work wonders here. He really needs to rocks up. And I think the opponent can start with Gengar or Ninetales. You know what? Let's actually just get into it. Already close to two minutes anyway. So like I said, this is round three. Um, Journey of Escalo in the LBA. So right, let's see. Otoko. Yeah, that's a track, yeah. I, I probably would have predicted that myself. Now he's gonna start with Heat Ran. Ooh, he's gonna go Flash Cannon? No. Let's see here. I would definitely go close combat there. There's a flash cannon, it's neutral damage, but, um, ooh, oh, ew, what a, what a fucking weird bad start, wow, wow, and that's probably specs too, right? I mean, it did so much, I thought fighting resistance steel, it doesn't, uh, ooh, or ooh, oh, no, Right, it's not specs. Wow. Wow. Alright. Um, Alright, there is... Oh, dude. Like, this star, like, there is no coming back from this. Ouch. Uh, by the way, if you got guys watching, it is a much longer battle, so that's good. Probably really does something right here. Um, so Matabi is going to fall. Ah, uh, it's really rough. Even a left of would have been extremely important in this battle. He's losing two pokes really fast so far. So right, we're gonna suspect here. Whoa! Oh, oh, it's too bad. It's too bad you have to make a ball from this position. It's too bad. But right. Um, there is no real risk of going for a hyper voice. Oh. 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 That's that's too bad. That, that's too bad, Esco. Oh, you are not position of world predict right now. You are not. Oh, no. This... This is not gonna do. So there's the Hyper Voice, right? And, um... Ooh, that's... It's close to Twit Kyo. Oh, man, you should just have gone for this... Oh! <laughs> you should have just gone for Hyper Voice directly. You really should have. You really should have. Alright, so Claypool is gonna come here, back on, of course. Just gonna go for fake out here. Actually, see if I'm with chlorophyll. That's nasty. That's a dead shifter, though. That's a dead shifter. All right, so they are four for four here, actually. Incredible. Rob zombie. All right, get out. Get out. Oh man. Oh man. Ooh, went to. Di All right. That could have been risky, but I guess if you have to choose, then Configurus is probably the way to go. So he's gonna take a Shadow Ball, but can just retaliate the same here. 
He's getting out. All right, he's not feeling it. Back to Heatran, probably. No? Venusaur. Hmm. Knock off. Come on, don't be the Mega. It's not the Mega. All right. <laughs> Sounded way too excited there. And right, it's obviously Chlorophyll. Oh, motherfucker. I hope you switched out, Desplo. Willow. Or actually, there could be more turns off. Uh, there actually could be more turns of Sun. Thinking about it. So it wouldn't help switching into Guard Warrior. Woo! This Giga Range needs to do 50%. Yeah, it's up there. Oh, Pain Split? No! No! I mean, it does hurt, but no! Wrong move! Wrong move! So it's gonna sack coffee there, sir, I guess. Ooh, it went for oh, it's over predicting. No, it lives. Or I mean, it dies. <laughs> I was really hoping it would take that. Right, sunlight faded. Welcome back, Mega Guard War. Finish the job. Um, that Mega Guard War is really, really—it's super dangerous. Like in general, here it can deal with so many things. Now I know for a fact there that. Jardos is a threat here, no matter what. So, uh, right, Rob Zombie's back. Oh, I wonder, should you know? <laughs> no! I guess he didn't have any switches left, but no! Damn! And you did not bring Hunchcrow, did you? No, Celebi. Oh, Hunchcrow would have been so nice. Alright, he actually took that. Interesting. T Wave, alright! It might be a comeback. We might see a comeback, people. So, I'm guessing this Celebi is not the uh, Sucker Punch Celebi, which have been really nice here. Um, Alright, keep the oh, right. Breaking a potential Sash, I guess. Uh, come on, fully paralyzed. We need this. Come on, no! That's too bad. That's too bad. That's. We can't work with that, we can't work with that. Right. Hell's Typhoon is gonna come. And it's physical. It's physical. Oh, oh, oh. Sweet mother. Um, so we're guessing here that um, at least it's not, uh, or rather that it's physical built for for reason. And uh, that is, of course, to uh, be able to deal with the heat ran. So, what? Chili Meister. Right, so you should have EQ here, right? It's not gonna kill, but it's pretty darn close, too. Oh, yeah. It has Sash. This was the Sasher, of course. And there's their power. That's so bad. I think it's gonna come down to. Um, I think it's only remaining Pokemon after this is Gyarados, right? He did not try to preserve the points, that's kind of good to know, I guess. Um, right, Mustaine. Oh. This is really bad, though, like... There was an opening, it really was. Ah, it did nothing. And it's not the Mega, then. It's probably it's not the Mega. Jardos individually. That's strong, that's powerful, that's evil, that's... That's it, like... Oh, I'm sorry, Esculo. There were not a lot of things working for you this battle, not whatsoever. Um, I have nothing to say here, I really feel that. Um, I guess summoning thoughts on my side here is... Uh, you should have heard the Heatra when you had the chance with Dragion. I know Stealth Rocks helps, I know. But damn, you need to hurt that thing once that shows its freaking face. And that crit definitely matter, I think, don't see Heatra being able to take it out with one hit. And all predicting is a shift tree with a sidekick, also unnecessary, considering given ship damage. And yeah, probably shouldn't have tried to paralyze that Heatran. Would have been better off EQ with Lectavar. You know what? Stuff like that happened. Too bad I didn't have a hunch over this battle. It would have been a different match. It's a very fast paced battle, and it's actually only a 1 0 in, uh, in your opponent's favor, which is. Um, Yo, I gotta add it to Matt. 
way to go, man. That was that was some weird shit plays. Uh, definitely played super aggressive, and it worked this time. It really did. An S glow, damn, man. Had you only like at least did one of those right calls throughout this battle, you probably would have won this one. That type lotion would have came out of nowhere. Uh, Preserving the guard of war would have been super important in general, and you know, of course, taking out um, Gengar was important, but um, it was a price to pay for that. And uh, I wonder. It's the bad though. The Gengar was really the only thing stopping you from actually completely sweeping with Mega Guard War if it had packed a Thunderbolt Bolt, which I'm sure of. But yeah, thank you for that, that match, and I'm gonna go into round five, oh, four from here. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.